We flew from Manila to Antique province in the Western Visayas. On our way to the airport, we got stuck in a different type of Manila traffic jam. You know it's going to be a small plane when you need to catch a bus to the plane. When you say small, it's very small. The plane was so empty that it felt like we were flying private. And as scary as these tiny planes can be, they do give a lot less hustle and bustle experience. <laughs> but it was another great flying experience on Philippine Airlines. What I find interesting is the like people over there. <laughs> as you land it in TK, you can't help but realize it's a tiny airport. The smallest I've ever been to, and the small airport made it a breeze to get through. I've traveled to some unique airports, and this was the smallest and most interesting I've been to for that reason. This was the baggage claim. This vending machine was the catering at the airport. This was the conveyor belt of the bags and they rolled the bags out to us. It only receives a few flights per week and so this is not a criticism of the airport at all. I find it fascinating in contrast to the big large international airports that I'm used to. If anything the fact that you can just park and wait for someone at the airport is a luxury you no longer have at most airports. We played the game of how many people can fit on one bike. It's amazing how many people they can get into a small vehicle. The guy tied our luggage to the top of the trike with four adults and one child and we were off. And there's no better way to see a city than on the back of a trike. This is where my wife grew up and it's her first time returning in 10 years and my first time to see it. We then took a trike to a van to get to where we were going. At one point we went past these people who had more than eight people on one trike. This is where we're staying. This is Sibolom and TK, Philippines, which I definitely mispronounced. To say this is a small town is an understatement. The hotel was the top level of an office building with no lift, but the security guard was really friendly and helped us carry our bags up. The room was basic but had everything we need. The fine for smoking in the room was only 500 pesos or $10, which is pretty low compared to normal. In so many looks. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not like that before. It's like more developed now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like, there's so much development. Oh, really? Yeah. This is the traffic jam in peak hour in the city center. Quite the contrast to Manila. The first thing we needed to do was get money out because most places don't take cards. Finding an ATM was quite a journey, but we eventually found one, but it wouldn't take our cards. Oh, so many interesting looks. <laughs> This is not your average tourist place, so I did stick out a fair bit. The corner coffee used yeah, to be yeah, where you. Oh. We should go there. It's only one to two streets before you stop seeing many lights. The trike driver remembered Paula's mom from her old restaurant. Ah. Oh. <laughs> you used to go to your restaurant before. Just one of my Okay, this is. This is Lansones, so you can eat this because this doesn't have seeds. I don't know if you like it. It's okay, but I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not gonna vomit, but I don't like it. <laughs> there was a loud event on in the city center, so we decided to go check it out. Yeah, it is so loud. <laughs> Quiet music. I said it's quiet music. Warm. Quiet. Quiet. Well, let's go over there and chat. Even if we just go up the stairs, I will be able to see it. Not exactly sure what they were doing, but they seemed to be enjoying themselves. And what we saw shocked us. It seemed to be a group of guys celebrating something and they danced the night away in their own unique way. For us the next day, we met up with Paula's relatives who live here. She was so small before, and yeah. now she's like... Hi James! Hi! This is James, Tita Rubina, and this nice is Nina, you. my cousin. Nice to meet you. This is my aunt. Yeah. This is all fruits and vegetables. Oh. <laughs> we explored the market and it wasn't long before we saw more people they knew. I remember, I remember. She was one of our neighbors before. Yeah. I know. She used to be the one who takes care of me oh. when I was young. This is actually very developed now. Before it used to be like 
It's like a donut. Yeah, it's like I'll a donut. Bitsukoi, bitsukoi. Bitsukoi. So, bitsukoi. Thank you. And I got to try a fresh local donut and it was so good. Okay. You like it? It's a bit antique donut. Mm. I liked it so much I didn't even want to stop eating to say so. It was like a really tall husband. Oh. <laughs> yeah, of course. So when, they, when we were kids, they, they were selling those. They are making those by hand. This one of my classmates! Oh. <laughs> it was truly amazing how many people knew them. Everywhere we went was another person who was excited to see them. I used to always get groceries from here. Oh, really? It's like a small grocery store. Like the three stores. No, like it used to be just one store. Yeah, but the three stores. Yeah, were. I think the three stores. Huh. She has like a computer shop before, uh -huh. and I used to go to her shop a lot. Uh -huh. Because she's, she's like the only shop that has computers. We had to get out of walk so that he could drive. We went up into the mountains and the roads were so unmade we had to get out. You have to pay attention because there was random barbed wire on the ground. Your mom walked into some of these. Yeah, because nice. for some yeah. reason she I mean that's kind of camouflage. This one here you could easily miss. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like everywhere in the Philippines, they have these random places to take photos. It's a dinosaur and an egg. And me! <laughs> you can fit in here. A weirdo. Hanging out in that dinosaur. <laughs> Do you want to go to the toilet? <laughs> After you. It's his and hers. There was a very unique toilet. I'm not going to go there. <laughs> Sadly, there was so much fog. Then we went to the Highland Strawberry Garden and I climbed the stairway to heaven. They actually have a net in case you decide to take one too many steps and end up in the forest. According to Paula, the view here would be fantastic if there was no fog. But as you can see, there is fog. Just trying not to fall on the way down. Yeah. <laughs> so slippery. Yeah. Just saw this sign and it ruined my day. All I ever wanted to do was eat the plants here. Coffee with a little motivation. <laughs> Highland. You would see a good view if it wasn't raining, but let's try the coffee. It's actually good, really good. Worth the entry fee. Yeah, 30 peso entry fee to come in here and you can't see anything because it's raining, but you have to, to have their coffee, so. Plus the fog is really thick, so. Oh well, but the coffee makes up for it. Worth the extra 30 peso. This is where I nearly slipped on before. Don't eat the flowers. There's nothing better than going to a touristy spot and hearing machine works in the background. It's surprising how many places have that though. I reckon there's almost 50-50 if you go somewhere they're gonna have machinery. Squid Games. Squid Games. It's a traditional Filipino thing. Yeah, my mind blank there. Yeah, let me try and get down. Ugh. Ooh, I heart HSG. I had to actually think of what it even stood for. <laughs> there we go, I heart HSG. But do we? I don't know, I strawberry HSG. Okay, even though I gotta trek through the mud to get this photo. You go there at the top. Yeah, the things we do for Spider-Man. Mean Spidey. Ugh. Wait, there's Hello Kitty here. Oh wow. It's always been my dream to get a Hello Kitty photo. My childhood dream of getting a Hello Kitty photo is coming to life. Don't touch me. What's the point of having a Hello Kitty thing if you can't touch it? Do I want a picture of the big strawberry? 
Yeah, we'll get tomorrow. We've got to get the big strawberry first. Do I take the leap of faith? No, that's going to kill me. <laughs> this is very wet and slippery. Now we have the piece de resistance, Mario. Also, don't touch me. They have rules of camping here, which are watch the sunset, sit by the fire, stargazing, make memories, enjoy one another, count your blessings, relax and unwind, wake up smiling. Mine is don't fart in the tent. And now we gotta run away from the rain because everyone else is scared of the rain. Check out the view. Sadly, we can't control the weather, but you gotta expect the rain in rainy season because it's literally rainy season. I'm sure on a sunny day, this is a lot better, but gotta make the most of it, I guess. How many people can fit in a van? <laughs> How many people in a van? <laughs> Eight adults. Two kids. Eight adults in a five seater car. <laughs> it's a lovely experience. Eight adults, two kids. And yeah, surprisingly, there's a lot of room here. There's still room. Spacious. Yeah, we can fit more people here. Five more? <laughs> Whoa. Well, I'm trusting you that it's not going to break because every break. step... <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Are you confident about that? Because every step I can feel it like <laughs> creaking and like nearly falling through. I made it. At this restaurant, they announce your orders to the kitchen via a microphone. Look, she uses a microphone to place the orders. <laughs> Their toilet was below my car. Then it was time to do shots of milk with my iced coffee. Try it. Okay, it's gonna... Good. Good. Yeah. Looks good. We learn a lot in this video, including that lifelong connections are made through unique experiences. And Antique is a fun place to visit. As always, I'm down for suggestions, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. 